Hey guys, so episode 7 of the Road to One Average today. It's been, uh, it's been already 7 weeks, when you think about it, it's pretty crazy. Uh, time flies and uh, you know, I've been trying to practice this week again. I did not have as much as I wanted, again, just trying to you know, go with my schedule and I had a lot of computer work to do, a lot of other pool stuff, so you know, very difficult to just put enough hours in the game. But uh, I feel like it was a, it was a decent game again. Uh, not quite the one average, uh, but I feel like I'm I'm solidifying basically my my current average, which is you know the main goal really was to me it could be over 0 0.6, 0 0.7 as soon as possible, and I think this is exactly what's happening right now. I'm just trying to solidify that. Uh, prior to that game I recorded, I actually had a pretty bad game. I was trying to, I'm trying to just go for one game and just kind of post it no matter the results. But the one before that was really bad, so I had to kind of stop in the middle, just put myself back together. And, uh, you know, I kind of realized that three cushion is a lot more about focus than you think. Um, really, even though you know the shot, or you know where to go, if you're not 100% focused, it is very, very difficult to score a billiard. Um, that being said, you know, it's kind of like pool, but it just, it's in the next level. I even have more respect to the to the top players because to keep that level of concentration is insane. You really have to think, you have to think about every aspect of the shot, the position, the play, the stroke. There's so many more, you know, things that goes in play. Uh, it, it's pretty amazing, really. So we're just gonna go right into it. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna start the game here. Opening point. Uh, Yellow, I picked the yellow today. Yellow into the white. That looks pretty clean. So one point. And I actually have nearly a perfect position play on this game here. Not quite, but you know, it was almost good. Okay, this is a standard three rail. Just go into there. Uh, not too much of an issue if you know what you're doing, especially at the first of the game, the ball slides a lot, so makes it a lot easier. Now this is already a tricky shot, so could try to go on the left side of the ray, try to cut thin enough, very difficult, so I tried something else, I tried to put a little more, uh, little more tough spin and try to go long and then kind of keep it in the in the table, but uh, didn't work. So that's two points in the first inning. It's just a normal start, nothing too fancy. Now this is a difficult shot, uh, right to the rail like that. Again, you know, the table is sliding still, you can see it. And that's why I made this shot really, really simple. Uh, very difficult shot if the table is already, you know, shortened. Now, uh, let's see this here. I actually picked the wrong option, I think. Hard to say if I hit the ball. I'm gonna say I did not hit the ball here. Uh, I really can't tell. So we'll say three and two. Uh, either way, I was supposed to go into the long rail first and uh, make it a little easier that way. Now this was a great shot. Uh, looks like no score again. Wow, this is uh, two shots. Very, very, very close, but no score. So three and three. Now I'm, I'm flying in this game. Huh? That's uh, four, four and three, four and four so far. As you can see, I can tell, like I said, you know, I had a pretty bad game before that. And to me, that's kind of a classic. Every time I play kind of bad, I have a tendency to play uh, faster. And obviously here I'm playing a little bit too fast, especially for that game. You know, you're just not supposed to run through the, the balls like that. But, you know, I guess I'm probably going to slow down a minute here. Okay, this was a decent shot here. Uh, no luck. Or actually... Actually, luck. Like, yeah, actually, it did work. So that's five, five and five so far. Let's see. Yellow into the red. Let's see if I can be right enough. And I got a kiss. I was gonna say usually you go an extra well on that one too. Uh, it looked like he was going, but you know, with the kiss is, is always this way. So until I know how to avoid the kiss, this is what I'm dealing with. So far, five and five, and that took less than three minutes. So obviously, I'm a little bit too quick here. Uh, this is a pretty good shot. Again, just the calculation. So diamond system, six and six. 
Um, now, of course, that I know my table, it's a little easier too, but because the table plays short and long at the same time, you know, it, there's a lot of things to adjust. So, yeah, a lot of frustration here. This was a pretty simple shot that should have been able to continue my run. Either way, uh, six and six. This is another tricky shot here. Yeah, very difficult. I was trying to go draw below the red and then go short long, but no luck there. Um, but really, you know, not much to expect anyway. See, like this week, you can tell the balls are not lining up the same as the last week. They're really always tricky so far. Like, I don't even know how I'm going to be able to do that. I tried to go short. It was a pretty decent attempt. But no, and it's probably because the table plays, you know, kind of long right now. Uh, it would have been different, you know, during the game. Okay, cross table. No, I did the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's me picking the wrong option, basically. So a lot of frustration there. I try to go short in the corner. Uh, you know, again, you know, four minutes to make uh, nine innings. It's, uh, you know, it's too quick. I definitely need to slow down at some point. Now it's good that I see it because you know when I play it doesn't feel like it. I'm just trying to go quick because I feel like I know the shots, but there's so much more into it. So, all right, and this was another terrible shot. Six points in ten innings so far, uh, but really I haven't seen that many easy shots. And here we go, another very difficult shot here. Uh, gonna try to go short, I suppose again, and this is not gonna work. As far as I know, yeah, this would have had to be too long. Six and eleven. Okay, what do we got here? Another very difficult shot. Uh, looks like I'm gonna use the bridge. It's uh, very rare that you have to use the bridge in three cushion, but some days you know you don't have a choice, and especially because if you play pool, you're kind of used to it. That this was a good shot. And again, no luck. So we are at six points for 12 innings, which is basically 0 0.5 average, which is uh, pretty bad. So this here was a nice little shot. I tried to play position, so standard shot. Good thing I scored. I tried to play position on the cue ball, the white ball, but I did not get it as far as I wanted to. Okay, this here is uh, a short stroke which I've been struggling but this one looks like it's on it that's 8 points in 13 so good thing I kinda try to control those here you know these 2 points are they're very important when you're not scoring for 5 or 6 innings so this is gonna be a reverse that looks pretty damn good uh, and I feel like it just missed again so eight points in 13 innings but that was a very good shot on a on a very difficult leave so now this was rail first and again no luck yeah this is a definitely a tricky date uh yeah didn't have much uh you know much to play didn't have much luck uh you know sometimes you just take them the way it is this looks pretty good right on that's point number nine in 15 innings so it, it's not horrible you know it, it could be a lot better but it could be a lot worse this should be okay I'm gonna play long directly into the red of course I try to put the cue ball in the spot that I have position to did not work out so good for a couple of reasons so this is another short stroke and uh, much difficult because you're on the rail uh, looks like I got it so that is pretty good that's 10 points in 15 innings another kind of natural but there's a big kiss because you gotta play a lot of draw and yeah of course so not chance here just the kiss score is 10 points in 15 innings and uh, in almost 8 minutes so that is pretty good um, this is very difficult again. Try to go. Oh, I try. Oh, I see what he did. Well, this is a 
and try to play the time shot with the white ball into the red, sending the red into the opposite corner. But I didn't even touch the red, so you know, at this point, it is what it is. 10, uh, 10 16. I'm gonna try rail first here to the red. I have no idea what just happened. It looks like I made it, so that's 11. 11 in 17. Another very difficult shot here. It looks good. And I got lucky again. Um, it looked good, but I think he might have been in the hole and that uh, little kiss out just went and helped me, so... This is another good shot here. I've been trying to control that uh, white ball a little more again. So that's 13. So I'm slowly catching up actually, so the game started pretty bad and just seemed to have like a decent run here. Another very difficult shot. I was gonna say get the kiss away, but no luck there. The shot was on point, the kiss was fully in there. 13 and 17 so far. Standard cross table again. Looks good. There we go. 14 and 18. Okay. Uh, not so simple. I'm gonna have to cut that ball pretty thin. Oh, I see what it did. Okay, I didn't even try to cut. I tried the the four rail first into the red and then if I land it on the long rail back into the short I would have hit the red and it's probably straight line into the cue ball which is a very 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 good shot I didn't you know I didn't even see it in the video I just saw it uh, when I played it and again this is because I saw a really good player uh, you know in action and seeing that they do stuff like that that you know I was actually able to even see it of course I missed it, but no bother, at least I tried it. This was very difficult. Uh, 14 in 19. Okay, this is a little more normal. The only thing you gotta do is not to come too long. And it looks good. Okay, so finally the 15th point. But again, you know, no leave. Uh, that red ball was supposed to go a little further out. This is a very difficult shot cut on the left side. Wow, what a touch. What a touch. Okay, that is a great shot. Uh, played very well. 16 points in 20 innings. This is another very touchy shot. Oh, I think this one is going to be a little too long. Not much, but just enough. Those were very good shots anyway. Um, you know, I'm glad at least I made the two previous one. This looks like a, a natural position. Again, you're gonna have to try to play position on the red ball. Avoid the kiss too, let's see what I can do. This doesn't look bad. No, it was pretty good. I did not have position on the red at all, however. I'm not sure, um, I hit it too thin, I think. And I'm left with another very difficult position. Cross table. Very good shot. Always hit it with a little extra pace here to in case you get the extra rail, you know, uh, to be able to still get there. Uh, very hard to see from this angle, but um, it looks like I can go long, short, long. Doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty good actually. That is 19 points in 21 innings. So I've made points quite a bit in the last four or five innings. Um, very good, very good performance so far. Uh, and especially because the position are not necessarily simple, so. Okay, so I try to go on the long side here and I hit it again, 20th point. So I'm almost back to one average and I remember I was at 0.5 just uh, 10 innings before that so I've been playing really good, haven't missed much. This is not a great shot here. Good run, I, I'm not even sure how much of a run that was but to me it looks like 6 points or something like that. 
So it's a, a solid run, really. 21 and 21. And again, no no position there. Try to ticky, very difficult because you gotta put reverse English. Never know how much to put. But um, there we go. Um, 21 and 21, one average in the 20th first inning. Starting from a really, really tough leave. All right, let's do behind the back shot. Doesn't look too bad, it looks a little short. Let's see if I'm gonna make it or not. No, it was too short. It's a shame, uh, you know, you could have played left-handed, but sometimes I like to play behind the back, they got a little more power. Uh, those five rails, you kinda need some power. This is a big kiss here, let's see if I can get away from it. It looks like I did. Full face on the red. That's great, that's 22nd point in 23 innings. Not quite a one average, but it gave me a close, very close. Okay, this is uh, into the red. Oh, okay, so because I didn't have much of an angle, I tried to put some follow to make the table place longer. And uh, I simply played too much follow, so too long. Um, another, another tricky shot here. You know, if I were able to go rail first out there, but I can't, there's not enough space, so I try to draw here. The draw usually comes short, and it looks like I simply got a kiss here, so there we go, 22 points in 24 innings, so I think the, you know, one average is pretty much over. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is, though, it has a, a good comeback from not much, you can see, you know, I really have not much position on this thing, that was a tremendous shot here to touch it, 23rd points, uh, 25 innings. So to make one average, I'd have to finish the last two here, which from my memory, I did not. Natural shot. Looks good, looks good. 24. Played a pretty decent position too. But uh, yeah, that, that is a tough one. Uh, the angle here, you have to play reverse a little bit English to make the table longer and I play a little too long and uh, yeah that's it I missed my chance to play one average so 24 points in 25 innings so far good run however you know I gave it a go this is a, this is a tough shot draw and and, and uh, spin it looks like I'm hitting it perfect and that's it that's 25 points in 26 innings 25 points in 26 innings, it's really not bad, uh, very happy with the performance for this week, uh, especially considering the layouts I got. I had a lot of really, let's say, ugly positions. Uh, if you compare this game to the you know previous episode, you'll see it's very different. The, the other game last time had a lot more open points, a lot more thing going my way kind of, right? This time it really wasn't that easy, and I really had to go and, and, and get the get the game, you know, get get the points, try not to miss. Now I also had a really really weak start, so I think it was uh, six points in twelve innings, so which is basically zero five. And then I think uh, if I'm remember correctly, it was twenty one in twenty one. So you know that's uh, fifteen points that I made in uh, 9 innings. So 15 in 9 is 1.7 pretty much. So that means I played second half of the game probably over 1.5 which is pretty much what I've been looking for for a while and this is quite amazing for somebody my level. You know 1.5 is, is professional and uh, you know that just means there's not much better I could have done. Now again, you know, because my start was weak, uh, you could tell it was frustration. I played some shot really bad. It was, it, you know, my head wasn't in the game. So it is what it is. So it evens out. So let's do the math here. Twenty, uh, sorry, twenty. What did we say? Twenty-five. So twenty-five divided by twenty-six innings. We are looking at zero ninety-six. Uh, very similar figure to last week but again you know we got to take in consideration the, the layouts and I think uh, the points I had to play this game were so much harder than the last game 
so I, I, in my opinion I see improvement. Now I'm looking at the time here, uh, it looks like we it was only a 16 minutes game. I'm not sure what my other games are, but I feel like they're at least 20 minutes. So I'm probably playing still too quick and uh, I'm gonna have to really work on, on my pace and try to see if there isn't maybe a better option rather than just go following through the, the first IVAC. Um, you know, 16 minutes for 25 points is, uh, is pretty good. So the good thing is if I'm playing an opponent and this actually happens, I think the guy is gonna be really pissed and it's gonna cost less in table time. But you know, uh, really, you know, this is, uh, this is something I need to improve. So I'm gonna have to play slower gonna try to see if I have more options anywhere else but really this to my opinion was probably the best game I've had uh, again and it's only because the way it's been played and because every opportunity I had to be able to score I actually did and I had no almost no natural shots so it was, uh, it was very good I'm very happy uh, again you know if you guys have any comments make sure you write them below I'm reading as much as I can if you're a player and you see what I'm missing, you know, comment below. Uh, on my side, I think my stroke is definitely close to a billiard player already now. I'm starting to see a little better, but I'm sure I'm missing probably still a lot of options. A lot of the right shots are probably not played right. So, you know, let me know. And, uh, well, I can't wait to get another episode on, see what we can do for episode 8. If I can, uh, you know, keep going to that 0 0.95 average. Or, you know, if I'm going to go lower or if I'm going to go higher. Uh, I think right now what's happening is I'm basically solidifying a, a over 0.5 average type thing. Because, you know, like I say, we're only playing on one ball. So if you take the defensive aspects from the game, I'm probably going to play a lower, more close to like 0.8 or something like that. So, you know, if I could be able to reach a, a solid 0.8... In that little time since I got the table, they would be truly amazing already and uh, makes me very hopeful for the rest of the season here. Alright guys, uh, I'll see you next week. And remember, if you haven't subscribed, click right here and uh, let me know what you think. See ya.